Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back! Did you miss me? Did you? Did you miss me? Because I'm back, so if you missed me, don't worry about it. I'm always coming back. I'm not going anywhere. Because I'm, oh wait, I forgot, boost! <laughs> because I'm YouTube famous now! For all, of the, for all of those of you out there that are like, Peter, I always say the intro with you. I gotcha, squid. Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost, I'm YouTube Famous Now. Available in 2021, the album, Dad AF. Rock on, gold dust, warm on. Boost, was that better? I thought so, I thought so. How are you guys doing today? Happy Sunday. Um, if you didn't watch my video yesterday or the day before, I am currently in South Florida with my husband. I know, it looks like we actually, we did. We bought a condo in South Florida and it looks almost identical to, we loved our condo so much in Indianapolis that we said, could you just recreate exactly what we have, but put it in Florida. So when we go back and forth, we don't really even know the difference unless we look out the windows. We're like, oh, it's Florida. Oh, it's Indiana, because we don't know. Because it's just exactly the same setup and everything, you know? It's kind of like, the, you know, remember the Connor house and from Lanford, Illinois, from Roseanne way back in the day? <laughs> I miss the old Roseanne, okay? You want to talk about problematic people that ruin their careers. I want the old those days of Roseanne back. But anyway, but you remember the setup with the couch and then it had the, the crocheted afghan and the, I loved that so much. That house always made me happy and make me feel like I was at home. But anyway, I digress. So if you're watching this or you watched yesterday or the day before, my husband and I are house hunting in South Florida. It's not gonna happen anytime soon. I mean, hopefully, maybe we'll find something we'll like be like, okay, this is perfect for us. But our goal is for us to be down there part-time. We're gonna go back and forth between Indianapolis and Florida. I'm so excited. Um, by the time that um, I am 51 or 52, I will be 49 um, in June. So we're a little bit ahead of schedule looking, but that's what we're doing because we're like, you know what? We might find something and it might be perfect for us. And um, we're really excited, uh, really excited, <laughs> really excited to get started on this next uh, part of our, of our journey, of our lives together. And um, yeah, it's going to be really cool. So anyway, but uh, I wanted to pre-film something for Sunday so that unless something comes up, if something comes up, then I'll film it. My husband, let me just tell you, okay? He knows I love YouTube. He knows how much I love YouTube. He is so encouraging of me, like when we're on vacation, he'll be like, do you have a video to film? And I'm like, well, I didn't, he'll be like, babe, go film. He's like, I can lay here in bed and play my township game. He plays that township game like all day long. He'll be like, babe, go play, go film your video. He's like, so if you see my husband like laying in the background of videos, <laughs> when we're in hotel rooms and stuff, you can always see my husband, he's like laying in bed and I'm filming right there. We don't care. I just love to get on video. You guys, listen, I have the coolest life in the entire world, okay? You know, and I was thinking about this earlier today. It's like, uh, I just have the, the, the best friends as well. You know, I have such a supportive group of friends that just, I don't know, I just have the nicest, greatest people and my best friend Tanya is just, I mean, she's been my friend for over 24 years, you know? And I was thinking to myself, I've been sober for 26 years and, you know, several months at this point. If you had told me 27 years ago that this would be what my life looked like, I would never in a million years would have believed it. And so, you know, to be able to get up every single day and do something that I love, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. You've made this old man's dreams come true. And I'm not even that old yet. I got a lot of, I got a lot of living left to do. And you know what? I kind of, I, I never say this very often on here, you know, um, but I kind of like being an example of somebody older on YouTube that gets to do what they love to do. Just to say, you don't have to be some young thing to still be able to have fun on YouTube and, and do it, you know? And so, and do it. Do it real good. Dun, 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 dun. Hey little thing, let me light your candle Cause I'm on my arms so hard to handle now Yes I am Cause you're simply the best Better than boost all the rest Anyway, alright So yesterday I did a video that was like a Q&A And I took the questions off of Instagram But I also put the exact same, said que same question on Twitter um, I actually took my tweet <laughs> Don't call and stick with the tweets Off of Twitter 
And so I don't know, I might, these, yesterday I talked a little bit about Tati and Shane and stuff. Some deep stuff might come out on this one too. Um, this is called Candor, you know what I mean? Did you ever play that game Candor back in the day where it's like truth, you get to ask each other questions and then you have to answer it 100% honestly. So whatever I get asked, if I know what you're talking about, half the time I don't even know what you're talking about. Where's my lip gloss? Oh, here it is, I need my lip gloss. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I could be using some of that uh, Jaclyn Hill uh, lip, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's a lip thing. Jaclyn Hill, and I don't take PR, but she probably should have sent that to me, those lippies, because I could have sold the whole, I could have sold the hell. I could have, I said sold the whole out of them. I could have sold the hell out of those lippies if they're any good. But anyway, we'll find out, I guess. We'll find out. So, I put this up on uh, the tweets. <laughs> hey, tweets. What's up, sweets, tweets? And then I took a, a picture of it and I put it up on my Instagram. Wasn't it that technological? I thought so, too. And it says, hi, everyone. <laughs> this week, I'm going to do an opinions and popular opinions video about every anything drama or pop culture. What would you like to hear my opinion on? I'm also doing an icon of the day. So, go over to my Twitter because every day I'm posting an icon of the day. Uh, yesterday, which this will be several days ago for you, it's Whitney Houston because you know I love her. Okay. So, let's see. Someone said, a lot of these will be kind of repeats, but maybe I'll talk about them in different kinds of ways. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to read the names on here. So, I, this is the first name. So. so, Amanda said, your opinion on Trisha and Ethan trying to bring to light what David has done and what you think about all that. Well, I think because... Here's the problem, okay? Uh, first of all, let me have a sip of my water. <laughs> my coffee is in my car and I'm too lazy to go get it. <laughs> That's the truth of the nature all day long. Okay. Like, okay. Trisha Paytas coming out against David Dobrik because she has since the breakup of her and Jason Nash. People are going to always be speculative about the source, right? But in all honesty, like, who is closer that is going to speak about them? None of those people are really, like, I mean, just a few are kind of coming out and saying some stuff. But Trisha Paytas is the one that's going to be like, she's going to break the dam on all of it and be like, I'm going to tell you guys what's going on, okay? And I'm sure Trisha Paytas, didn't she say in that one thing, I've never signed an NDA? So if she's never signed an NDA, she could say whatever she wanted to say, and she is saying those things, right? I think it's important that she's having conversations about it, and I think that, you know, and somebody asked me when, on the Instagram, like, what I thought about, you know, she and Ethan talking about it. I think it's completely fine. I think it's great. I think that, um, you know, and I said they're not drama commentary channel, but they're having conversations that I think that are important. And they're bringing to light issues and, and saying it in a way that you know, she, feels, she feels very passionate about it. So I think they should be having those conversations. That's how I feel about it. Where are my reading glasses? My reading glasses. My reading glasses. Um, okay. Someone said, uh, how about Tati getting her case tossed? How pathetic. I have not been following that at all. I don't really know a whole lot about it so I don't know much about the case um so anyway <laughs> there's a lot of videos out there about that though you guys you guys can go find out about somewhere else um I miss the 90s what is your favorite 90s music well my favorite 90s music okay that would be like because I graduated in 1990 so my favorite 90s music would probably be Okay, well, I mean, at that point, I was listening to a lot of, like, Grateful Dead and a lot of, like, Marshall Tucker Band and oh, Dave Matthews Band I started listening to then. And uh, what else? Or maybe it was a little bit after that that I started listening to Dave. Um, oh, uh, Fish. I was listening to a lot of Fish. Very, like, kind of, like, hippie-ish bands, kind of like that. And then, as I started, like, going out more and more, I started getting into, like, techno and, you know, KMFDM and things like that. And, um... Uh, a lot of dance hall songs, you know, back in the day, um, and, uh, what, what else? Like, a lot of club hits, just, you know, random, uh, the things I sing on here, like Taylor Dane, you know, don't rush me, I made that mistake, I mean, and those songs were from, like, the early, the mid-80s, but they were playing them in clubs, you know? Okay. So, let's see. The next question. Who's the queen of pop to you? The queen of pop to me will, is, and forever will be Madonna, okay? Madonna and has done things that, and I love Lady Gaga. I am a huge Lady Gaga fan, okay? Lady, and I love Britney Spears. Lady Gaga is so creative and just genius to me. But Lady Gaga would not have been allowed to be Lady Gaga had Madonna not come first. And I think a lot of people don't. And I know people are like, whoo, you just made a, a brand, a bold statement there. I don't agree with that. It's the truth. Okay, that's how I feel about it. Madonna was doing things 30 years ago that Lady Gaga hasn't done today, you know? And I think people forget that. 
I think the other thing that people for don't know maybe was that the way that Gaga has been such a force of liberation for the younger generation of LGBTQIA people today is the way that Madonna fought for us gay guys back in the day, okay? And she was really on the forefront of, you know, AIDS prevention and fighting AIDS um, and HIV and educating on HIV and AIDS. And I mean, she was one of like the very first, you know, celebrities that was working with Amphar and talking about it and talking about friends that she had lost and things like that to AIDS, you know? And it was important. And she lived in New York City and she was like on the front lines of seeing like how that had all affected her. And she talked about it. And you know, she was one of the first people that ever really embraced the LGBTQIA plus community and um, in the way that she did, in the, in the powerful, profound way that she did. And forever, I will love Madonna because of that. She will always be my queen of pop. All right. Let's see. Next question. The dog in the backyard is barking. Not my dog, my neighbor's dog. Uh, COVID-19 vaccination. Will you and Alex be getting vaccinated? We have both been vaccinated and had both of our shots. Um, okay, let's see. I never watch those. <laughs> she said like this. <laughs> but you do you. I do do me. That, it's my drama channel. <laughs> At least I have five other Peter channels to choose that day. So if you didn't know, okay, I do have five other channels that you can watch. I try to film on them on a pretty regular basis, if not every day. Um, so go check them out. All right. <laughs> Thank you for that little ad. Uh, chocolate tea drops. I appreciate that. Uh, okay. Uh, Someone said, I would love for you to do a magazine video and give your uh, opinions on whatever stories catch your eye. I haven't done that for a long time, so I will. Uh, Misha, oh hey Misha, oh my God, it's Misha from my True Crime Book Club. Misha, okay, so you guys, this is so funny. Misha from my True, like we have so much fun. Okay, listen, we are not a glum lot, okay? Just because we're talking about murders and stuff like that, we are not a glum lot. Now, let me just tell you about Misha and my True Crime Book Club, okay? She's the one that invented this. She, we were talking one day, and she was guesting up in the live stream, and she got up in the live stream, and she started going like this. And I was like, Misha, are you for real using the live stream camera as your lip gloss? Like, camera? And she was like, oh, yeah, I am. And I live for it. And she came fully dressed as Carol Baskin when we talked about the Tiger King. I love Misha. She's one of my favorites. She knows that. I love you so much, Misha. And we missed you last time. <clears throat> Misha asked me to weigh in on the Paris Hilton documentary. I have not watched a Paris Hilton documentary. It's another one that I really, really want to watch. Um, part of like at night when my husband goes to sleep while we're gone um, is my plan to get caught up on some of this stuff. My friend Tanya Jean watched it and she said, you've got to watch this documentary. Alex watched it. He said, you've got to watch this documentary. So I've got a lot of documentaries. I'm going to watch these documentaries while I'm gone and I'll get caught up on all of them. And then I'll come back and give my uh, two cents about it. Okay, and Brittany is one of those things, and Meghan Markle, the interview, is another one of those things I'm going to catch up on. Okay, The Bachelor is boring. I agree. I don't think I've ever watched, I maybe watch like an episode here or there if I'm with like my friend, but my friend Tanya, she watches everything reality TV, but I've, I've never sat and actually like gotten into it. Uh, Drag Race, have you been watching? Yes, I'm obsessed with Drag Race. I've seen every episode of Drag Race at least once. Um, I love the show Hey Queen on YouTube with Johnny McGovern. I talk about this a lot. I was actually watching it last night because he had Mario Diaz on. And um, I don't know if you guys know who he is, but he's a huge party promoter. And he's friends with all these like old cool dra old school drag queens like Jackie Beat and um, people like that. And so anyway, it was really cool to interview. And then he was on Look at, Look at Ha! So uh, where you throw a little shade or something. Anyway, I watched that. Um, I mean... I anything to do with drag, like, I know everything about it. Like, I have been consumed with drag since I was, like, 18 years old. I have, uh, judged drag pageants. I have gone to internet, not international. God, I wish I could go to international queen in Thailand. Um, I've gone to national drag pageants, you know, all over and had lots of friends of mine that were drag queens and female impersonators. And it's just been a huge part of my life and um, a part of my life that, long even before RuPaul's Drag Race came into it, um, that I, and I think there's, you know, a lot of opposition sometimes that about RuPaul's Drag Race kind of taking over and then you have like, don't forget to support your local girls, okay? Like that's really, really important. I would say your local queens and kings um, and drag kings are a big part of that community as well um, and bio queens as well. But you know, the thing that I look at it as is I've always loved RuPaul. I can remember seeing RuPaul this place called The Warehouse in downtown Indianapolis when she came. She's literally like 6'6 or something like that in heels. And she performed Supermodel. You better work! Do you remember that song back then? We all love that song! Oh my god. 
So anyway, you know, the fact that RuPaul made it from playing clubs to being what she is today or what he is today on that level of fame and fortune, and not just that, but of like, I think, internal peace and serenity of success and having a, a long-term relationship. I mean, RuPaul has really proved that you can do it, you know? And the fact is that RuPaul is taking what he has and allowing a platform to go forward. And sure, he's making lots of money off this, right? But to provide this platform for 13 new people every season to become famous and have the same experience or same possibility is amazing, you know? And so many people have been, uh, like, introduced to the art of drag that would never have been introduced to it before unless, you know, like, your girlfriend took you there for a bridal shower or, you know, a bachelorette party or something. Or, you know, like, you were like, come on, mom and dad, like, you got to go see what a drag show is like one time. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, a lot of people are never introduced to that. So I think it's cool. Um... Okay. Whether you think Morgan Adams is trying to paint her brother as a nice person so Shane has a way back into YouTube. I don't think with Morgan it is, and I talked about Morgan in my video yesterday too, I don't think with Morgan it's that um, calculated. I, I, I don't, like, I think like if she and Shane and Rylan were having that conversation, I think like... First of all, I don't think Shane and Rylan would have that conversation with Morgan because Mor Rylan, I don't think, I don't know that I believe that Shane's somebody, and maybe I'm wrong, that w that he plays his cards that way. Like, he would come out and ask for a favor like that. Like, you've got to get right. I don't, I don't, mm -mm. I don't think she would do that. And I don't think she's willing to risk what she has worked so hard for over that. I really don't, you know. I think she is really being honest about what she sees, you know. But, of course, what she sees is, you know, a different a view of, than what we see. So, uh, do you think Shane could try to use James and Mission as a chance to come back as a I told you so moment? If he did, he would be stupid and it would slap him in the face because what they would say is, because I think people are at this point with James, Shane, Jeffrey, all of them. I think what people, especially with James and Shane, I think people would say is, you two are both trash and we're done with both of you. I don't think it would help him at, at, at all whatsoever. Um, somebody said, have you talked with Trisha privately after her fallout with Shane? Are you friends with Trisha? Um... I talked about that yesterday in my video. Okay. Let's see what else. Do, do, do. Someone said, Hunter, oh, Hunter. Said, hey, Hunter, how are you? He said, my unpopular opinion, maybe popular, is that UK Drag Race is a million times better than the U show. Okay, I really want to watch it, and I just found out how to watch it. So, um, I'm really excited about that. Okay. Let's see. Uh... Oh, here's an unpopular opinion that I completely do not agree. Uh, Bratney said, I, what's the real name behind this? This is Bratney. Okay, she, she likes a lot of my stuff. She said, I say Lindsay Lohan's version of Edge of Seventeen is better than Stevie's. Britney's cover of My Prerogative is better than Bobby Brown's. Your opinion? Britney's version of My Prerogative is better than Bobby Brown's. I didn't like the original of Bobby Brown, but I can totally see him in my head, like, doing the dance on the stage and stuff. Um, but anyway... Uh, <laughs> I forgot all about that song, My Prerogative. I had the tape cassette single back in the day. Oh, my God. Lindsay Lohan, I didn't even know she had a version of Edge of Seventeen, okay? Just like a white wing dove sings a song, sounds like she's singing. Ooh, baby. Okay. Um, do, do, do. I want to know what you think about the other drama channels. Tea spill specifically. Uh, I don't really know <laughs> tea spill, so I don't really have a lot to say. Watch her videos from time to time. Um, seems fine. I mean, there's. I don't have any issues with any drama channels right now. Okay, um, and I want everybody to know that. Like, it was really deliberate and important for me to stay in my own lane, do what I love to do, and, you know, and, and I said that at the time, too. I said, this is what I want going forward. Do I talk to people? Sure, I do. I talk to several drama cha channels. Um, but, like, I just, I want to be over here, and I want to enjoy what I'm doing, and I don't want that to be confused in any way by anything else, if that makes sense, right? But, like, I fully support other drama channels and other commentary channels, you know? And, um, and I think we all I'll do things differently. I think there's so many of us out there, you know, and I think it's fantastic. There's so many of us that are doing so many different things. You know, I'm nothing like tea spill. What she does is completely different than what I do, is completely different than I'm trying to, you know, hello! <laughs> it's 
my friend Melissa asking us if we have dinner plans tonight. You know, it's so different than what, like, you know, D'Angelo Wallace does. It's so different than what Angelica Oles or Luke Alexander does. It's so different. This is going to continue to go off now because we're in a group text with our friends and it just goes like this. But anyway, it's so different than, you know, like what, you know, Rich Lux, Dustin Daly, Nick Snyder, Viewer's Voice, Paige Christie, all those people. I mean, we all do something so completely different that, um, you know, like I think there's a place for all of us out there. I think there's a place for smaller drama channels. I think there's a place for bigger drama channels. I think there's a place for, you know, anybody out there, you know, and I think that if, if it's something that you want to do, do it, do it because you enjoy doing it, you know? I just enjoy getting on here every single day and staying over here and um, doing my thing, you know? And, um, and and I'm loving it. I love every minute of it. So that's what I think about the other drama channels. Um, and I watch a lot of them. I do. I actually, to be honest with you, I probably, I watch all of the drama videos to see what's going on more than I watch the actual beauty influencers sometimes because the beauty influencers bore me. And I think drama channels are hilarious and put their own spin on it. So that's what I think. It's going to ring again because he just texted me. <laughs> Okay, my little dog Boo Radley, he hates that sound. He's like, Daddy, I'm going crazy. This is driving me nuts. Is it driving you nuts? Aww, he said, Daddy, I don't like that. Well, you can sit right next to me while I finish up, okay? So drama channels of the world unite. That's what I think. Okay. And I think the other thing is, too, you know, I've always said this. Like, why can't we all just get along? <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and I think, like... For the first time, I think that people are kind of doing that. So, I don't know. Maybe. I hope so. What do you think about Denali being robbed on RuPaul's Drag Race? Well, Renee, I guess, if you, since you said robbed, I guess you assume. I do feel like that that's what kind of what happened. I think Olivia Lux deserved to go home over her. But it's RuPaul's Drag Race and it's a competition. And, hey, listen, sometimes you don't win the page, you know, the pageant, you know. I mean, sometimes you're screwed. And that's what happened, okay? Sometimes your dancers don't show up, you know. Oh, my God, my group text. Okay. Um, Kitty said, honestly, what you think is next, what do you think is next for Jeffrey and Shane? When will Shane come back? And do you think since the Trisha stuff, he scrapped the project or just postponed it? WTF is going on with Jeffrey's Britney moment. And was it just a cry for attention or help? Love you, Peter. Um, no, I think he is really trying to physically show that it is uh, the end of an era for him. And he is like saying, hey, if you don't believe me, I'm going to say it and I'm going to show it. Okay. The problem is it's going to beep again. I'm sorry. Uh, let me stop this real quick. Hold on. If I didn't stop it, it would have kept on going and going and going and going. They would have kept on. Because we group text, y'all. Are you in a group text like this? So it's Alex and I and our friends Melissa and Jason. They're like our best couple friend. And like group texting goes for like literally for days. So anyway, what was the question? Um, no, I think Jeffree Star, I think his haircut and all that, which I think looks nice. Um, I think it was really him saying, like, look, I'm, I'm making a complete and utter change going forward. The thing is, there's no there's no action to back it up other than you just got a new haircut. <laughs> okay, great. Okay? You know, it's like, what was the old saying? You could put a pig in a dress, but it's still just a pig. I mean, just because you change the outside, you know, I don't know. I mean... <sighs> I don't look at somebody's outsides and measure their insides, okay? I look at somebody's insides and measure their insides. That's just me. You do you, okay? If a new hairdo equals to you that he is a new person and everything has changed, fine. But for me, that ain't cutting it, okay? What do I think Shane Dawson's going to do? I think Shane Dawson is sitting there so confused at this point about what to do. Do I think that Trisha Paytas screwed his plan? Yeah, I absolutely think she screwed his plan. I think he knows that. I think he cannot come out and talk about how upset he is with Trisha Paytas. I think the reason why we are truly, I don't think he's upset about the friendship and all that. I mean, maybe a little bit. I don't know that I think Shane Dawson, I think everything that Shane Dawson looked at other people to see if they were like Jake Paul and those things, I think he has qualities of himself possibly. Okay. I think that's why he was interested in those people because they were mirrors for him. So if that's the case, I don't know that I think, even though he's a self-proclaimed uh, empath, I don't know that I think that he has the ability to be compassionate towards somebody else, to be sad about that friendship, overriding the because the, the anger is overriding that about what Trisha Paytas did, okay? And what Trisha Paytas did was screw his comeback. So one of the reasons why I think that Ryland is writing so hard for Trisha Paytas and acts like he doesn't really care and, hey, you know what, we didn't really understand and they're not making up with Trisha is because Trisha came out and she screwed them, okay? And I think that's part of it. And I think think Trisha Paytas knows, 
okay, that uh, Shane Dawson knows that, and she knows he can't come out and talk. What's he going to do? What's Shane Dawson going to do? And Come out and say, yeah, the reason I'm not making up with Trisha Paytas, the reason why I could care less about her right now is because she screwed my plan. She screwed my project that I was going to come back and show you guys that I was a changed person. She came out and said that, right? So now I can't come out, and I can't do this project. So screw her, okay? Trisha knows he can't do that. And what Trisha's just done is, Trisha, she's called his bluff on him being a crap person, okay? Because if you were really authentically changing, you wouldn't have to put a project together. She checkmated him. Trisha Paytas maybe probably made one of the smartest moves when you want to talk about, like, all of this kind of stuff on YouTube. And she didn't even do it because she was trying to be hurtful or vindictive. She did it because he was her friend. And she didn't understand what was going on. And she checkmated him. And I don't think he even realized what was going on at that time. He thought it was just Trisha. Oh, it's Trisha. She'll get over it. Blah, 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 whatever. I think she said no. Uh-uh. I'm done, you know? And I think that's why people are respecting Trisha now is because it wasn't over a breakup. It wasn't over Gabby Hanna. It wasn't over this. It wasn't over that. It was over a 12-year relationship. And I think most people can really, really relate to that and say, you know what? Enough is enough. A 12-year relationship you threw away over Jeffree Star, she checkmated him. And he knows that. And he can't come out and say anything about it. And I'm sure he's mad as hell. I am sure he's mad as hell. And I think that's why we won't see a reunion between them. And if, that, if it does happen, I think it could be years down the road. And I think Trisha will go to him and say, you know what? I miss you, Shane. I'm sorry. I forgive you for what happened. And I think he might say the same thing. But I don't think it will ever be um, on the same level as it was before. Um, let's see. Okay. People, a lot of people are asking about the Trisha Paytas thing. Um, what, I'm curious to know what you think the future of Tati's channel and involvement in the beauty community will be after everything that has happened over the years. I don't know that I think she's going to come back, and I said that yesterday. Um, D'Angelo Wallace. Again, somebody asked me. Uh, let's see. Some people ask me things about, I don't know. I'm curious to hear your opinion on Tati now after all this happened with Jeffrey, Shane, James. Well, I said it in my video yesterday. I mean, I don't know if she's the sweetest person in the room or if she's... Uh, the sneaky snake. I, I don't know what to think about all of this anymore. Um, Melanie said Oscar nominations, especially Glenn Close and for that awful movie, Hillbilly Elegy. I heard that that movie was so good and I was so excited to see it until I read this. Um, by the way, <clears throat> uh, Melody, happy 40th birthday. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Happy birthday. <clears throat> Ooh, 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 dear Melody. What was that? I don't know. Okay. Happy birthday to you. All right. Uh, people go in on the mommy bloggers. <clears throat> mommy YouTubers using their kids for money. And how... Um, oh, you know, there was a lot of people that... What do you guys feel about this whole YouTubers taking out PP... Uh, PPN, I don't know what they're called. PPP loans or PPP, I don't know what they're called. But anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about, those big business loans. Um, I have to say, I mean, from a business point of view, and I'm not defending them, but <clears throat> if there are people that have, like, I mean, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, like, I mean, he, he got a lot of crap for that. People were talking about it behind the scenes. Um, I kind of understand it from Jeffree Star's point of view because doesn't he have something like 150 employees? Like, on that level, I would totally understand. If he used it for that, right? Okay, I get it, right? And you have to remember, Jeffree Star Cosmetics is isolated from Jeffree Star the man. But if you are somebody that has five employees, or two, Jaclyn Hill, or something like that, I don't know. You know, especially if they're your family. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I don't think about that. Um, you guys, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that in the conversation. In the conversation. In the conversation section below, like I used to call it. But I will tell you that a lot of people had issues with that. Um, there are a lot of questions I've gotten about that over time. Okay. Let's see. Okay, season th 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. What do I think? Why all the former Morphe supporters like Manny and Laura suddenly no longer support Morphe and push their products? They seem to not align with their values and how they do business anymore. Curious what happened there. Um, I have noticed that as well. I don't know if it's like they're not really working as closely with Morphe anymore. I have a feeling that there is probably some reconstruction going on within the uh, pyramid of power of Morphe over there. I think it's interesting that Jaclyn Hill, who is their cash cow, is going to Ulta. So, I mean, you guys have to re remember that. What, the fact that she's going to Ulta 
it's going to take money out of, you know, Morphe's pockets about her things that she's done and she's wanting to have her own brand now. I don't know. I think, you know, Morphe is trying to work with new people, new influencers. Um, and I think they're trying to figure out who the next up and coming person is. I think if Manny and Laura um, probably are like, we're not going to support you if you support people we don't stand by, you know, but that would just be, I could be completely wrong about that. Um, let's see anything else. Oh my God. Are, I've never seen, somebody asked me about Platform Crocs. Are they the SHI tut or are they Ugliest Sin or both? I've never seen Platform Crocs. Are they a thing? Oh my God, I'm totally afraid to look them up. Okay, let me look them up while I've got you online. Plat, well, I've got you online. <laughs> like I'm talking to you on the phone. We're just friends hanging out. Platform Crocs. Okay, I can't, with fur it said in here too. Uh, they're cute. They look very like old school, like uh, the true clogs, you know, back in the day. Oh, I would think they're kind of cute. They have one here, like, on somebody. Oh, they're cute. Women's chic slip-on chunky platform. Up style. $28.99. They're cute. I think those are cute. So, I think that's what might be the last question. Is that the last question? Oh, no, no, no. There's so many more. Um. Okay. Harry and Maggie, Harry, Harry, Harry and Maggie, Harry and Megan, Harry and Megan. Well, like I said, I'm going to do um, an update video when I get back after I've watched. It will be about Brittany. It will be about Megan and Harry, Harry and Megan, and the Oprah interview, and it will be about the Paris documentary. I'll do a whole video about it, talking about all of that over here. Um, so if you guys want to see that, come back, and I will put that up when I get back from Florida. And I love you guys very much, and I will see you. I, I will still be posting while I'm gone, and keep up with the drama so make sure that and I have pre-filmed videos for my review channel every single day that I'm gone and a few for my Peterism's channel so please come back and check in and um, see what's going on anyway I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow bye